Hello everybody, G-Spot here, bringing you another commentated video. This time it's got a little bit of a twist to it though. It's, uh, it's a dual screen. It's got uh, myself on the left, and uh, who I think is probably the worst teammate ever on, on the right. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we ended up losing this match. We lost by, uh, by 10 points, I think it is. But, uh, you know, looking at the stats at the end, we, uh, we completely dominated, outslayed the, uh, the other team. And, uh, you know, going back to the video, watching people's point of views, I, uh, I could see why. It was pretty much two on six, me and my, uh, my friend, Omen Sickfuck, Sickfuck, who I've been, uh, who I've known since, I think, 2004, playing MLG, a good friend of mine. It's me and him versus uh, six other players, and we got four other people on our team that are just uh, complete idiots, but uh, none like this guy on the right, who um, who pretty much sits in the girl game, and actually goes, I think, 48-2. and two. So, uh, so, yeah, so this guy is pretty much uh, the worst teammate, as in no objective at all doesn't even uh, try to cap any headquarters doesn't even try to uh, to destroy headquarters or, or prevent the other team from grabbing it he like I said just uh, just sits there to get uh, to get his kill streaks and worst thing too is like he gets a few chopper gunners I think he gets three this game but he uses them all at the worst dumbest times. So little little things like that. We could have won this match if uh, if he had half a brain and used the uh, the kill streaks at the right time, but instead he chooses to uh, to use them right when he gets them. I don't know, maybe out of panic or just like I said, not thinking. I think it's the non-thinking part. But uh, yeah, you'll you'll see this guy on the right. He doesn't really do anything at all except for sit in one spot. So there's not much really to talk about. From uh, from his perspective, I guess we'll go to my screen just to talk a little bit of what's going on. Maybe the my gun choice and whatnot. Uh, right now, I'm using uh, the AUG uh, Red Dot as the attachment, but the uh, the perks that I'm running with are perks that I usually never run with. I'm just trying to get the the pro perks for the XP mainly. So right now, I'm running. Marathon, Steady Aim, and uh, Lightweight, so I can get uh, so I can get the XP and the Pro perks for all of them. Uh, normally, I don't run with the AUG, uh, although it's a it's a good weapon. I never never really gave it a chance, but but uh, playing with it for the past uh, for the past prestige, it's funny because I'm on uh, I'm on twelfth right now, but I've never used the AUG uh, so. So using it now, it's um, it's refreshing. You know, the gun that I usually use are the uh, you know the AK 74U when I when I first get it, and then as soon as I get the AK 47, I I immediately switch to that. So, but uh, but this gun's pretty solid too. It's if you can control it properly, hardly any recoil, and I think the fire rate's pretty high, and so it does some good damage if you got good accuracy. Uh, the main problem is long distance, I guess. It's it goes on the fritz when you try to shoot long distance, which is annoying. But other than that, it's, um, it's a pretty decent gun. Uh, yeah, so you can see here, the guy on the right, like I said, he's using his chopper gunner, but the headquarter is not even up to be captured, so... So it's his, it's his lack of understanding of the game, his kill streaks. He, we could have easily maybe gotten an extra 10, 15 seconds, which would have given us the match at the end, but no. He decides to use the, uh, the chopper gunner right away. Kind of, uh, kind of frustrating. Uh, so here we are, we, uh, we capped the headquarter. I, I thought I had better cover behind that car, apparently not. I won't do that again. If I'm gonna hide behind the car, I'll definitely go prone. There's, there's my attack insertion. Get an easy knife kill. That'll help with my lightweight pro. And, uh... Yeah, I get another one. Totally uh, unaware of what's going on around uh, around his surroundings. 
I'm pretty sure you could see me on the screen. I didn't, I didn't bother looking at his point of view, but but uh, it's, it's it's probably that tunnel vision. He knows he wants to go up the stairs, and that's all he's focusing on. So players like that are are easy to get free kills from. Uh, so yeah, so <laughs> here's the here's buddy here behind the the ammo box in the parking lot there. He's here for literally another another six minutes until he dies. So that's uh, I'm not really gonna talk about that guy. Actually, the only thing I am gonna mention is that he I don't know if he realizes it, but he's giving his teammates horrible spawns. Instead of spawning uh, close to the headquarters, we're always spawning. We're always spawning by the. Uh, as as I say that, I spawn away from him. It's kind of funny, but uh, a lot of times we were spawning by him. And that was pretty frustrating. And yeah, so there's no attempt from him trying to prevent the other team from capping, or 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 even defending. He does end up with one defend mill. And I have no idea how he got that, but. I think it was actually early in the match he got it. Uh, yeah, so here's the other headquarters. I tried to spray there. I don't, I don't know. I think I should have got both of them, but it didn't work out the way I thought it would. I get the one, but not the other. It makes makes no sense to me. Now, uh, so yeah, so I guess uh, from my from my perspective. Obviously, my goal is to uh, to first keep him off the objective. Uh, actually, here I wanted to mention there, you know, it's worst camper ever. Back in the corner, I give him my back for a good second, but yeah, I'm still able to turn around and uh, and shoot him. So people like that, I like to call uh, slow reflexes. Susan, I guess, is the best way to best way to call them. Uh, yeah, like if you're, if you're gonna camp like that, at least, at least pull the trigger. Don't, uh, don't allow me to turn on you and, and get every single shot. I don't even think you shot me, but, uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, that was my mistake. I probably should have charged in to an extent to stop him from capping it, at least. I mean, I get, a, I get two of them down and we, we destroy it right away, but... But I could have easily prevented him from getting it altogether. It's kind of my fault there. I should have, should have realized that they were close to capping it. Here I get stuck behind the jeep. I knew that was going to happen, but I think I was stuck. I don't think there was anything I could have done without giving somebody my back and dying. Shots from behind anyway, so took my chances. And like I said, the guy on the right, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't moved from his spot. <coughs> Excuse me, so I think I'm catching a cold, cold here. It is, uh, it is Canada after all, and we've had snow here since Halloween. Now, um... At this point, like I said, tack insertions are extremely important. They help you uh, get close to the objective, so when you die, just like I did there, I don't have to spawn all the way in the back. I know where they are, so I'm going to kind of charge in and get that... Uh, I'd like to think of it as a crucial double kill. They probably would have capped it if it wasn't there sooner. And judging by the map, I'm, I'm the only one there. Don't know what everyone else on my team is doing. Just kind of sitting back and enjoying uh, enjoying the scenery, I guess. Like Buddy here on the right hasn't hasn't moved once. Uh, yeah, so I I don't think I got any hit markers on that person far away. It's too bad sandbags aren't uh, penetrable. Otherwise, uh, we're aimed a little bit lower. But I guess it's a tough shot. You got to be perfect with the AUG from long distance. It's probably a shot I shouldn't really try. I'll keep that in mind next time, I guess. Uh, so yeah, again, trying to cap the headquarters. Uh, I think I got that guy, but since I'm all by myself, there's no one to, uh, no one to help. 
Uh, yeah, here I am trying to shoot Buddy here through the walls. The most annoying wall ever that uh, doesn't seem to work. When I'm on the other side, I seem to die a lot. I'll shoot through that wood, no problem. And they're not even using Harden, but uh, when I'm trying to shoot shoot through it, it uh, it does zero damage. So that's uh, so that's pretty frustrating. Again, uh, buddy here is just camping in the in the right. Hasn't moved, and like I said, he's not gonna move for for another few minutes until he dies, and then he has a new spot to camp in. And uh, obviously, me on the left, I'm doing whatever it takes to uh, to help the team, shooting down spy planes, trying to cap, trying to prevent, and and destroying the uh, the headquarters. Uh, yeah, so you'll, like I said earlier, you, you probably you'll probably see me drop a lot of attack insertions because, like I said, it gets you to the uh, to the headquarters or to the objective quicker doesn't necessarily have to be right on the headquarters because if you do that you know you're gonna lose it by uh, by getting flashed or naded most people most people will do that to uh, to the headquarters just flash it so you'll want to put it away not too far but uh, you know close enough so that it's not all the way where you would spawn where everyone else is like on the other side of the map here I actually uh, I think we end up capping here, and I get a pretty solid triple kill to keep him off the uh, the headquarters, and then I get uh, killed by a, a nade that I thought was far away. Probably should have picked it up and thrown it, but I didn't realize that the nade would roll towards me. Yeah, there it goes. That's uh, that's also frustrating the way that grenades will roll towards you, even if it's uphill. I've seen it done. That's uh, that's frustrating. The game should not uh, should not function that way. Follow the laws of graphics. If there's a hill, the grenade should go downhill, not uphill. That's another another thing Triarch should try and fix. Is you know you're making a, a semi-realistic game here. At least at least allow f gravity to apply as well. So the game's uh, the game's coming close to an end. You can see the guy on the right found another. Uh, Another camping spot, and uh, he's not gonna move here for the rest of the match. Package on the way. My plane standing by. 
RCXD deployed. Friendly RCXD inbound. <laughs> 